Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. So I'm just here to show you the best strategy of the Witch Golem attack. It actually goes well with actually also with all town halls, but you have to use it wisely. And imagine this one troop, it's like three troops in once. So this is why I like our this strategy. So here you can see that I am um, I'm done with like my attacks at Legend League and actually did well. You can see there I actually have 5.2. I actually don't attack every day, only sometimes. So don't forget to like and subscribe. And we're gonna hit it. And I'm also gonna show you guys the my base. And I'm also gonna show my base it's down below the link. If you want you can copy it. And I'm also, also gonna show you the replay of the defense. So in this, I'm just gonna show you um, this attack. Like, I'm just gonna cut it. It didn't go that well. As you can see, I did 72% because I was not attacking that seriously. So for you to know you did actually good in an attack, you should actually make sure you get like 90 something percent in few defense, not strong defense like. You have to be very few defense, like defense like heroes can withstand the damage. So like here, I didn't actually lose actually like because of timeout. These such bases actually a problem, especially when you are fifteen. Like when you see a rush player like this, you usually tend to make the base more open and it's actually even a problem. But barbarian team going inside, which is actually not a good idea. I think the barbarian king going around the base was actually a best way to do it, but still fight. They can see the king walk. This energy mostly consists of uh, archer king to take out most things, clear out. So I decided to put the witch golem that side. So it makes an opening and so that I leave the troops inside. So I like to aim for the eagle artillery first. I like to take it down because it will be a huge problem. It might take out my troops out of nowhere. So, yeah. So I put a jumping spell to leave the troops inside. And I pop the Grand Wooden ability to clear out some buildings. I only left the town wall. And remember, guys, in the witch golem, not yet burst. And we are free when they break down. And. And it is dying skeleton and yeah. So I popped in the attacking ability because I was like no more time left. As you can see that just just time was a problem. So this strategy actually was takes a lot of time and what I recommend you guys get used to making changes. Getting used to the time and then when more comes you, you know the disadvantage, you know how to cut the time down. As you can see here, this is the other replay. And I think this was the wrong one. Um Yeah, I just wanna show you guys an attack. Yeah. This is the type of base that most people like to use. Mostly town of 16 bases. I like defenses are just like everywhere. They spread it out. So I'll just show you that this attack. Just use the electro to clear the side so the troops go inside. But I'm first using the archer queen. As you all know, that X boat deals a lot of damage. So be careful with it. You can see there my archer queen almost went out. But luckily I used the range. So the thing about my strategy, I do not use invincibility on Archer Queen, so with high chance the Archer Queen might get knocked down. Remember guys that X bow is boosted, so I deploy the skeleton and the witch golem and the green wooden. I mostly like to put all troops in on one side and the push together with the barbarian king. 
and then I had to play the Royal Champion with it. So sometimes I had to play Royal Champion at the other side and mix up with the troops. So as you can see, they have the, see them actual queens off and I pop the Royal Champion ability and with the Grand Wooden ability. So the Hawk Riders can at least take out the Town Hall and the Royal Champion during the Rocket Spear. Last time on X, someone said that the Rocket Spear is useless, but for me, it is useful. So I like the Rocket Spear. So you can see there that just few defenses left, just the X Bone taken out from this full pass. And this is why I like the good column deck because when it gets destroyed, the three giant skeleton comes in. There we have it, there is your full stars. And I hope this strategy helps you with it. Now, I'm going to show you also the war deck. So, don't forget to like, subscribe, and yeah, as you can also see here, I'm gonna show you this battle lock. This is like when I started before, and yeah. This is actually a new day, so I'm gonna show you this replay of this attack. So, you can see here the almost max town 16, or must I say, it is a max town 16 base, and I'm town 15, guys, remember. So, I'm in shock I even went this far. Yes, he also boosted his troops. As you always know, I started off with the Archer Queen, with the Queen Walk, and I won't lie, like, I was aiming to max out the Royal Champion. Now I'm busy maxing out the Archer Queen. You can see there, I'm, I, put, I decided to deploy on one side. Because I, I'm, sometimes Electro just goes off quick. Like, just just check there. Like, Electro is off already, and that's meaning one Electro. So, they had to play the Barbarian King on the right side with the Witch Golem with the Grim Wooden, so I'm pushing in on the other side. As you see, then my Archer Queen was went out. So, always watch out for this single photo. And I decided to put the jump spell with the Archer Queen so it goes inside and take out most of the defense. So, my main goal is to clear both sides, pushing in towards the town hall, and the troops will just start going inside. As you can see there which golem is going down and Barbarian King is going up there as you can see there. So the scatter Yeah as you can see that destroying most defense and yeah the Royal Champions going in the witch golem is also there. Now it's just the monolith as we all know the monolith is the most defense as well most scared in I don't like going as a monolith especially last minute so I like to target it but at the same time also like to target the eagle artillery so as you can see the Maro Champion is going off pop the Maro Champion ability with the Green Warrior ability so the Hawk Riders go over and destroy it and now yeah usually I was worried actually it was a invincible spell to hide the town off but actually going good there so the reason why I lost in this attack was actually the Ricochet Canyon. But you will all see why I actually lost. I feel like I wasted my freezing spell. So, don't forget to like, subscribe, guys. So, yeah. So, you're probably wondering how I got that 98%. So. I'll show you how I got at 99, 98%. So, yeah, so I like this attack because it helps me go against the Tower of 16. As you can see there, the Dark Elixir is down that side. And we only have like 15 seconds, so this guy you can see, you see that I'm gonna lose this attack. So, yeah, that is the reason why I lost. Yeah, as you can see there, the Ricochet Canyon took out my attack raid, my freeze was finished. It feels like I was just throwing that freeze last minute, I won't lie. So, as I said, replay your attack, know your mistakes, and you know it better. And when it comes to war, you all know how to do it well. So, there we have it, I made full stars in war, so we actually won it. So, there we have it, I'm gonna attack the Tower 16 base, you can see there replay. I decided to take out the Green Wooden because we all know Green Wooden, especially when you upgrade it, the level is very high and it deals many damage. 
and it was a trap for my electronic series out so the other queen about so the electronic dragon is actually going my archer queen play the poison spell so the archer queen takes it out and there we have it so the clearing is not that much the, the reason why I like to clear the site so the throws do not go at the side we all know when throws go at the side we all know this it's over it's game over let's go at the side troops are going down they're getting defeated so try to put the go which golem at both sides so push in and drop the barbarian king ability automatic so it's about go off try to go with the grand wooden ability so the barbarian king doesn't get knocked down and with the healing spell so the barbarian king can at least heal up and i freeze up the single inferno so we don't know the single inferno is also a problem so there we have it we range it yeah and there we go with the which column is actually doing good and it's going well the Royal Champion is actually my trump card you see there there is an Archer, Archer Queen dead defending and luckily he boosted the Alexa Collectors if it was the defense I don't know so yeah and you all know the multi Archer Tower is actually now gone list I just mean the Skeleton Rock but at least the healer is actually healing the troops and it's actually doing good now Mario champions about go out this is weird so the invisible spell is actually gone if I invisible spell I already did the town hall I don't know if it will be a huge problem so there we have it seven full stars yeah just make sure to make such a real champion so I'm actually using the haste because I saw like I mix it out so I was like me use it Yeah, so when you use this strategy, just make sure you have enough seconds for that. As we all know, like, this attack, like, troops mostly go for defense, so making it a problem to destroy things at the sides. So that's why I like the Royal Champion ability of the Hawk Riders. So they just jump over and destroy that specific thing. So, yeah. So there we have it, that there is the attack, so yeah. Okay guys, now I'm just gonna show you my best defense and why these guys are doing one star. And you can all see here, my defense is actually widely spread. So I don't know if I can call this the best defense. I'll let it in your hands to decide if this is the best defense. And we all know when a person used the blip strategy with the invisibility in the clone you all know that something that won't go good especially when it comes to your base but this guy was in for the eagle artillery so you can see that he tore my eagle artillery but he did not take down my monolith that was his problem guys now you all see that he's attacking his super archers went off he didn't go as according to his plan so most of the time when, I, when these guys attack my base, they actually don't go, do good. You need do two stars or one star. So, about me, I was gonna say, this is probably the best defense that you could ever have, but can't give you 100% guaranteed that a person will make two stars. The thing is, a person easily make one star or two stars. So, I was like, I'll make a base where like they have to make a choice, two stars or one star. So when they decide to go in that direction, they always they like do a one star, two star. So they have to choose wisely which direction to come from. So they do that two stars. So yeah, sometimes they do four stars, and sometimes they just mostly do two stars and one star. So this is currently like guaranteed one star, or two star. So that's why I'm sharing with this base and hopefully help you out. So don't rush guys, please mix out. Most people are going down 16 because like they're just looking like this guy has rush and me also rush. So I I'll just say it's up to you if you want to rush. But I prefer you not to rush with our mob. So yeah guys.
So here is another defense. I don't know what is wrong, but people are mostly coming with the blip strategy to attack my base. So this is the second time. As you see here, he decided to clear the sides of his the electro and it's clearing the sides. To put the attack queen so yeah the, the, um, if, the, if you're wondering what defense I'm using in the king cast I'm actually going with one ice column and full weight first it will be main skeleton and the attack queen will not stand the damage and ends up been getting knocked down yeah so there we have it he ended up taking out my town hall but you can obviously see this is a full star not full star getting dead but as i said this base is mostly one star and two star and then i'm going to show you another replay of defense you can see that the witch is still alive and with the ice ball and yeah there we have it guys and i'll show you another replay actually did one star as you can see there so now i'm just gonna show you another replay and again i think it's a blip yeah it, it is a blip so you can see there it's a blip attack so this time he ended up coming down yeah he ended up coming down with it's actually a mixed attack with ground in air so you can see there he deployed the lava hound with the blip he's going for my town hall so there we have using the visible and the clone like this replay i'm gonna show you he's not deploying the visibility right and the motor just ended up hitting there his probe and when time goes, it just comes less and less and the less are the super archers, the less damage they deal. So just be careful when you take this strategy and we all know that the builders are covering the building. So just be careful when you attack, just make sure you take down that building and you can all see do not take out my evil artillery and my town hall including my monolith so just make sure you know what you're doing and make sure it's getting dead like you'll see his max town 16 his troops is max town 16 and max heroes but his base still ended up defending so if you like this base the link down below you can just copy it and you can click me later guys so yeah So this is why I like the legend league because you do not know how the base look and when you see that base you are like oh no my strategy is not meant for this attack so that is why it's okay to do two stars one stars because you are not prepared to attack that base so I will sh share this link don't forget to like and sub check out my twin brother's channel hitman 7 it's also down below the link Thanks for watching guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.